In autumn, when the garden and driveway need clearing, many people reach for one of these, a leaf blower. With an estimated 45 trees for every person in the UK, they're a handy bit of tech to have around. And boy, do you need one at this place. Ashton Court in North Somerset has 850 acres of sprawling woodland. And lots of trees means loads of leaves, the perfect backdrop to answer an all-important question. Whether you really need to pay extra for a premium product or whether a budget blower will blow away the competition. Our premium choice is the Karcher Blower Vac. It comes with a turbo boost that blasts away leaves at 200 kilometers an hour. As well as blowing leaves, you can also suck them up. The body, battery and charger can be bought as a bundle for just under 300 pounds. Our budget competitor is from gardening brand Spear & Jackson. Also a blower and vac, it has seven power modes and comes with two batteries and a charger in the box, all at around a third of the price of the Karcher, just £110. All we need now are some green fingers. Pete, hello. Hi, John. Pete Hazel is an RHS-trained gardener who's blown leaves all over the globe, from British country cottages to Australian rainforest estates, so he knows exactly what it takes to clean up efficiently. Tell me, do you use leaf blowers professionally? All the time. We call them uh, one of our most valuable tools, MVT. Ah. And what do you look for in a good one? Yeah, one with power, um, maybe a good long barrel. I mean, both of these are battery-powered. Would, would you normally use a battery-powered one? Currently, no, but interested to find out what the battery ones are like. I mean, what are your first impressions of these, starting with the Karcher, our more expensive of the two? Looks good. It's quite ergonomic. It's got a good balance. Yeah, it seems well, well built. Good first impressions from the car. Yeah. What about the uh, Spear and Jackson? It's definitely a lot lighter, less robust, and a bit shorter, I suppose, but still the same kind of thing. Well, let's uh, put them to the test. Battery powered blowers are power hungry beasts, and no one wants the frustration of running out of juice halfway through a garden spruce up. So, our first test is to see which blower will last longest on a full charge. I've devised what I think is going to be a fun test, so let's use both of them at maximum power and see how long the batteries last. Let me introduce you to Bentley Blower Ball. The aim is simple. Use our leaf blowers to blow as many balls as possible into the opposition's goal. Let the games commence! For a level playing field, we've set both our leaf blowers on their highest continuous speed settings. Right to the losing battle here. So, could Triple B become a new national sport? Yes, I'm going to do anything for my career prospects. Maybe not. Ah, we get back down to the goal! The budget Spear & Jackson comes with two batteries, but both need to be attached to power its 36-volt motor. I don't think I've got the oomph for my Spear & Jackson. It soon becomes clear that the Karcher has more firepower up front, despite its single battery. I'm a bit disappointed. I haven't got any balls in the other half. But all that power comes at a price, because after just 11 and a half minutes, the Karcher's battery runs flat. OK, John, it's cut. While the cheaper Spear and Jackson keeps going, lasting another six minutes, and wins our first test. Ah. Well, this looks like a more realistic test of what these things are required to do. Why don't you go to that end? We'll meet in the middle. We're going to clear these leaves off one of the estate's paths. I'll be taking the premium Karcher for a spin, while Pete has the Spear and Jackson. Right, let's get started. I mean, I'm not the tidiest leaf blower, but uh, nice and maneuverable. I feel as though I've got a good directional flow of air. It does feel slightly heavy. Including the battery, the Karcher comes in at four kilos, 800 grams heavier than the cheaper Spear and Jackson, something that's proving handy for leaf-blowing pro Pete. It's uh, easy to move around. Wouldn't want to use it all day, but you can use it one-handed pretty comfortably if you've just got to blow a few things that way. It doesn't quite get all the heavier stuff like swigs, but... The Karcher, on the other hand, does a great job at blowing all debris away, especially when I deploy my secret weapon. The turbo booth! That can really push some leaves away. With twigs and leaves well and truly dispatched, it's time for a moment of calm as we compare notes. Well, that was interesting. How, how do you think they compare? Well, the Karcher definitely is more powerful. Yes. If you press the boost button, you move something heavier than a leaf, but... 
Other than that, they're both quite gentle, I think, in the grand scheme of things. But on the other hand, the Spear of Jackson is usefully lighter. Yeah. It was I definitely think... could, I'd use that for a bit longer, happily. Good. Well, now we've blown the leaves off to the sides, the next task is to vacuum them up. Both of these blowers have a vacuum function, letting you gather your fallen foliage, which is then mulched before it ends up in a bag. And now Pete's taking the culture for this part of our real-world test. Right, three, two, one, suck! Both devices can carry up to 42 litres of garden debris. How are you finding it? Yeah, it's not doing a bad job, really. I'm quite impressed with the leaves. But after another quick swap, Pete and the budget Spear and Jackson are soon having problems. Yeah, this one's definitely not as powerful. Definitely getting clogged easier. I think the carcha feels a lot more powerful. Whoa! And with the path now clear, it's time to empty both bags and find out how well our machine's mulched. The carcha feels as though it's sucking up more and is. Yeah, I think so. And it's and, more finely chopped. And it didn't get blocked, whereas that was clogged quite easily and felt very slow going. Well, after all this exertion, I think we'd better go and sit down. Follow me. So, which blower comes out on top? Ah, oh, this is interesting, because I've not really used a leaf blower or vacuum before, and I have to say I'm not overly impressed, really, compared with other ways of picking up leaves, say, even a rake. I don't know, what, what do you feel professionally? And compared to what I have been using for years, um, yeah, not leaning towards choosing either of them. Yeah, uh, because uh, basically you use things that are more powerful and can, can cope with the jobs more easily. Yeah, and, and some of the combinations of work we're doing means maybe you'd use a combination of other tools as well, rather than something that's trying to do two things. But if you had to have one of these, would you go for the pricey premium products or would you go for the, the budget one? I'd probably go for the Karcher. It's the one that actually does the job relatively well. Both kind of slow, but at least it wasn't getting blocked mm. uh, like the Spear and Jackson was. Yeah, I'd go with the Karcher too, I think. Yeah.